GCC. Uh, this is Dr. Kim and we're going to work our third gas law problem. This is for Kim 130. Let's take a look at our question. What is the temperature of 0 0.8750 moles of gas at 5.73 liters and 1.48 atmospheres? And we are given R, the gas constant, is 0 0.0 8206. The unit is liters atmospheres over moles kelvins. So this is a gas law problem. Uh, we have some variables that deal with gases. Let's identify our variables. So we have 0 0.8750 moles. What is moles? Well, that is the symbol N. So we have 0 0.875 zero moles. And we use N to represent that. Then we have 5.73 liters. What is liters? You are correct if you said a volume. So our volume is 5.73 liters. And then 1.48 atmospheres. That is a pressure. Pressure is 1.48 atmospheres. And then what are we finding? That is correct. Temperature. Temperature is my unknown. So we need an equation that has N, V, P, and T in it. So we're thinking it's a gas law. The back of our periodic table has some information. It has P1, V1 over T1 equals P2, V2 over T2, but that requires a gas to be changing. Did anything change in our problem? No, nothing changed. So we're not going to use the combined gas law. Nothing changed. There's no ones and twos, befores and afters. So we have another gas law. It was PV equals NRT. That's why we have an R given. We're going to use the ideal gas law. PV equals NRT. Some people call it pervnert. Pervnert. PV equals NRT. And unfortunately, that is not on the back of the periodic table, so you need to remember this. PV equals NRT. So what are we solving for? Again, temperature. So let's solve for temperature. Temperature will equal PV over, we need to divide both sides by N and R. And that will bring the N and R over to this side on the bottom. So temperature is going to equal pressure times volume over NR. So now we're ready to plug in. Our pressure is 1.48 atmospheres. Our volume is 5.73 liters. There's our pressure and our volume. And that is over N. N is 0 0.8750 moles. And R is given to us 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres over mole kelvins. So let's look at our units. Uh, if our unit that we end up with is a temperature unit, then we'll know that we did it right. So we have atmospheres on top, and we have atmospheres on the bottom. So that's going to cancel out. We have liters on top, we have liters on the bottom. That's going to cancel out. Then we have moles in the denominator, but moles is in the denominator of the denominator. So moles will cancel out. That leaves us with Kelvin here in the denominator of a denominator. And maybe, remember, that actually brings it back up to the numerator. So we're going to have Kelvin as our unit. Is that a temperature unit, Kelvin? Yes, it is. Okay, so now we're ready for our calculator. We have 1.48 times 5.73 divided by 0 0.8750. This number is also in the denominator, so divided by 0 0.08206. Uh, 
and that equals big long number. Let's think about our sig figs. How many sig figs are in N? Four, okay. How about our volume? Three. Our pressure? Three. And our constant R? Four, because zeros in front don't count, so four. We go with the least sig figs. So the least sig figs is three. Let's look at our calculator again. So 118.10 doesn't round up, it's just 118. So our temperature is 118 Kelvin. Not degrees, just Kelvin. All right, very good, I hope you were able to get that. Good job.